Hi everyone, happy March. I literally can't believe we're in the third month of 2022. It's ridiculous and terrifying, but time flies. As you know, I do a plan with me video every single month. So since today is March 1st, it is only fitting that I post my March plan with me. I'm gonna come sit a little closer because I'm feeling a little far away from you right now. How's everyone doing? I am feeling very motivated to plan my month today. For the first time this year, I'm actually feeling like kind of motivated to live like a healthy lifestyle. I feel like in January and February this year, I was living my life a little bit chaotically. I was in the middle of a big move, trying to plan my life out. And while I still need to get a lot of my shit together, I am feeling way more prepared to have a routine and get things done and really just be focused this month. I'm feeling very centered right now and I feel like I'm starting to live like a healthier lifestyle and I've been focusing on my goals and I think March is gonna be a good month for me. I know I say that about every month. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be my month, but I don't know. I just feel like March is a pretty chill month because there's not much going on. I mean, you have St. Patrick's Day in there, but it's not super crazy. March isn't quite spring yet, but it's not the worst months of winter, which I feel like make it a good month to kind of do some focusing on yourself. You know, you're not like pressured into going out all the time because it's super warm out, all your friends are going out, but you still wanna leave your house because it's not negative seven degrees and the sun doesn't set at four anymore. Like it's daylight savings, the sun's gonna set at seven now, but you might still have to wear a coat. I don't know, I think, I think March is just like a good month all around to get stuff done. So that's what we're gonna do this month. That was kind of my long intro. If you are new to my channel or you've never watched a plan with me video before, I use Notion to plan my months. It's an online platform that is kind of like a bullet journal in a sense. It's free form. You can either choose from templates or you can make your own page and kind of set it up however you want. I kind of have a combo of the two. Some are my own templates and some are ones I found online. So any of the ones that I found online, I'll make sure to link those below in case you wanna use them for your Notion. So welcome to my Notion. Every month, I kind of update my homepage. I always like to update the emoji. So last month I had these little hearts because it was like Valentine's Day, February. I could be basic and do a shamrock. And I'm going to be basic and do a shamrock because I don't know what else I'd put. My banner constantly for my homepage is just my vision board. I made this in my plan with me two months ago for January. I made a full January vision board. So if you want to check that out, you can click on that video. I just made this in Canva and it kind of is just all of my goals for this year through pictures, things that I want to manifest and I'm dreaming of. And honestly, I really do think this works. I think ever since I started making vision boards, you don't really realize they're coming to you until little things here and there start showing up. So I really like having my vision board here. I keep that there all year round. I never change it. And then this is my homepage. So this is a template that I found a long time ago. I'll link it below, but it's just kind of like a simple outline for the week. I will say I don't use this weekly outline too much. I pretty much just use it for very, very general things. And for anything specific, I'll usually just put it in my Google calendar. So weekly agenda, March 1st through the 6th, even though technically the week starts on February 28th, but we're just gonna ignore that. I'm just gonna put some general goals for this month. These are like super general, not specific. Keeping my apartment clean, taking a walk every day, looking into my blog. <laughs> I feel like this blog I talk about every plan with me. I do have a blog. It's very new. I started it through Wix, which was definitely a mistake because if you make a blog, you should probably do it through WordPress and get a self-hosted site. It's all a mess. I need to really look into that and update it because I do like writing. I wouldn't say I'm a writer by any means, but I do enjoy writing and sharing my thoughts on things and I wanna keep blogging, but I feel like through Wix, it's just not the best setup. So I need to look into that this month and reply to things in a timely manner. Not that I take forever to respond to things, but a lot of things are new right now, like me getting the amount of comments I've been getting or getting emails, and I'm very grateful and thankful for all of it and super excited about all of it, but a lot of times I find myself getting very overwhelmed because I'm in a position I've never been in before. I've never gotten this many people reaching out to me on the daily before. Sometimes I get very overwhelmed and kind of shut down. I just need to take a little time each day, even if that's 10 minutes and whatever I get through, I get through. And if I don't get through something that day, I do it the next day, but just kind of staying mindful of that. But also in the same breath, not giving time to things that don't deserve it. Like hate comments, things like 
that are just negative and not good for my mental health. Like you don't have to give time to those. So I will not get it done. Things that need to be done this week. Um, I want to go to TJ Maxx this week. I want to get some things for my apartment and then look into coffee bar. I have this coffee bar behind me. It, I have the structure and I have the coffee pots, but I want to like make it look nice and decorate it and put it together. And I've kind of been putting that off because even though like it's in the in my apartment and it exists, I feel like that was not the most important thing when I moved and recently in my life that hasn't been like the most important thing. But now that I'm kind of settled and I have some free time, I definitely want to start working on that. So this is like my weekly agenda right here. I'm seeing Moulin Rouge this week. Very exciting. I have a video shoot on Friday. I have like a side business with my boyfriend. We do film and productions. It's called Double Focus Film Co. It's on Instagram. We literally just started and we've only ever filmed one thing, but that's kind of something we're starting and doing. So I have a shoot for that. Um, Thursday, I guess I have a spin class. Tuesday, I have personal training. So just little things here and there. I more things will come up this week and I'll remember things that I scheduled this week, but for now, that's all I have. And then down here is where I can reflect when the week is done. So was I productive, my emotions, describe the week, the highs, the lows, all that. And then I can look forward to things that are next week and next month, which I have no idea what I'm doing next week or next month. So if you've been watching my plan with me videos for the past few months, this page is totally new. I added a daily to do, which has been super, super helpful for me. I feel like it was kind of hard for me to plan like what I actually wanted to do in a day on that homepage. And this kind of just gives me a little checklist that I can plan my day, check things off. And it honestly has been motivating me a ton to create these lists and check things off. And this works way better than what's on my homepage. So I get more into the specifics here. So today, I didn't really update this yet since I wanted to do all this fresh, but clean my room. I actually already did that this morning. I woke up and I fully cleaned everything. Um, I have a spin class later. I recently started going to like cycling classes and <laughs> I had never done them in my life. I've never been to Soul Cycle and I, I don't do it at Soul Cycle, I do it somewhere else. But I never had like taken a class like that before and I absolutely love it. So I've been taking them all the time. Reply to comments, reply <laughs> to emails. Um, I need to order new ballet shoes today. I took a ballet class this weekend and my ballet shoes have holes like all in the feet. So I need new ones. <laughs> Edit my YouTube video, duh. All right, so that's like a good list. And then also I have my daily gratitude. I have a February one, but we need to make a March one. And we'll add our little emoji. And now under daily gratitude, we have March. And then starting tomorrow, I'll go in and every day in the morning, I try to list five things that I'm grateful for just to like stay positive and happy and literally grateful for what I have. All right, moving on. Here's my calendar. I don't really use this that much because I do have my Google calendar that I use more so than this. But every once in a while, I'll add things on this calendar that I wanna be able to keep track of while I'm in my notion and planning things out. I have like a dentist appointment that day. I guess you could say St. Patrick's Day. Oh, my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Now to monthly goals. So this, I kind of changed the format last month. I used to have all these crazy unattainable goals on this page and they all had to do with social media and they all were like super specific and it just overwhelmed me. So instead i take five specific things that i want to work on in the month and that will be my monthly goals so this month i want to read two books if you remember last month i wanted to read one book and i read half of it i am the worst at reading i think i need to start reading a fiction book first because every time i try to get back into reading i try to focus on these self-help books which are very good and very interesting but i think it's kind of a hard topic to get back into reading with I feel like I need to fall back in love with it and read like a, a fictional book that's gonna keep me on the edge of my seat and want me to keep reading more in order to get back into reading self-help books, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's just like a weird thing for me. I've been trying to read before bed, but definitely have not been as successful with that as I could be. I've been listening to more podcasts, which I know is not the same as reading, but it's a little better than me just scrolling through TikTok. I've deleted TikTok and Facebook off of the homepage of my phone because Recently, I just have been feeling so much like negative energy from those platforms specifically. And I just, I'm trying to take all the negative energy out of my life right now. I have a lot of anxiety and I just want to try to 
clear my mind of that. So I've been listening to podcasts and they actually have really been helping like my mental space. It's nice to like sometimes in my downtime or when I'm doing just like busy work to play a podcast or something in the background because it makes me feel like more connected to people. So honestly, below this read two books, I am going to say listen to more podcasts and music. Even though I'm literally a singer, I'm a performer, I love music, I love all dancing, I love all of that. In my free time, if I'm not actively singing or dancing, I never just turn on music and listen to it. It's very strange. I feel like most people like live on music and I will find that I've just been like sitting in silence for hours sometimes. And I feel like that's not great because then I'm just like alone with my own thoughts, which it's good to be reflective, but I'm a little too reflective. I'm gonna say go to the gym five times a week. Just joined a gym, I absolutely love it. I don't think going to the gym five times a week is going to be hard for me and it hasn't been a chore so far because I have a lot of friends that go there with me and it's just like fun to go. So that'll be good. Complete my apartment. I just have like some loose ends, some things that I still want in my apartment that I haven't bought yet. So I feel like this is a good month to like finalize it. So then going into April, I'm like in my set space. Obviously things can like ebb and flow and change, but like for the most part, like there's still a few things that I'm like, oh, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. So just getting those. Not use my phone right before bed. It's like a weirdly specific goal, but I definitely just scroll on my phone before I go to bed. And then I feel like I always read something that like freaks me out or like makes me angry or something. And then I go to bed like feeling all weird, scrolling through my phone like this close to my face. The blue light's definitely not that great for me. And also just like you wanna unwind before bed and I never unwind ever. I'm like this whole monthly goal section is just me talking about how I'm really stressed out all the time, but we all knew that. I think the theme of March is just like taking care of myself. I want to find ways to be the best version of myself I can be, to be like a kinder person, a more relaxed person, a healthier person. I think just taking care of myself this month is the main theme. All right, content calendar. So this is where I plan all of my content out. Not really gonna focus too deeply on this, all I have right now is my plan with me right here. I have a few other videos that I have planned for this month, but honestly, I'm a little chaotic right now. I need to sit down and actually plan my content. I'll probably do that tonight and plan specifically what I'm going to post this month. Last month, I was ahead of the game. I was like two videos ahead and that was rare for me, but now I'm back to not being that. So <laughs> I need to get back on that. Um, next is my budget tracker. This also is what I'm going to sit down and do tonight. I'm gonna record all of my February expenses. I'm gonna go through and kind of see how much money I spent this month, how much money I made this month, and then kind of make a budget for March. I find a lot of times that at the end of the month, I'll just go through and see how much I spent and just kind of make a mental note like, oh, don't spend that much next month, or oh, that was good, do that again but I never really plan out a specific budget for myself. And especially with like Apple Pay, I will never like think that much about my purchases. Like if I have to buy something, I'm like, oh, gotta buy this, gotta do Apple Pay. So I think I need to be more conscious about a budget this month and more conscious about where I'm actually spending my money, making sure I'm only spending it on things I need, but still letting myself have a little bit of fun and not being too restrictive. So this I will fill out later today. I'm not gonna show you my budget and my expenses. And this is a template. The girl I got it from has a full setup for her Notion. Like I just took a page from it. So I'll link below her entire setup. She made like a really great template, but I only wanted like little bits and pieces of it. I only took her budget tracker and her goals page. Goals, so these are my long-term goals. So you can see like here are some that I've already done, here are some I'm doing and my to-do. I try to add one new long-term goal every month. I am going to move this one over to doing. Not really gonna say anymore, but um, we're making that happen right now. So I'm gonna put that in doing. I'm actually gonna say sign up for an acting class. All of my goals are slowly but surely moving to like theater related goals. Because if you didn't know, I am a performer. I haven't done that in a long time because the pandemic happened. I started working a nine to five job and I take dance classes and I do things on the side, but I haven't like actually been in a show in like two years, which is really crazy. So I, that's like my main goal for this year is to like get back into theater and actually pursue it as a career because I am by no means giving up. I am still doing it. Things just got put a little bit on hold. Next is YouTube. I love filling this out because I like to see my growth. I think this is a great way to see like how much I've grown. So we're gonna make a call for March. So my current amount of subscribers is 7,156. That is insane. I have grown about 5,000 subscribers in the past month. 
I'm so thankful for that. Like, it, that is so crazy. If you've subscribed in the past month or have been a long time subscriber or anything, thank you so much. This growth is honestly so crazy to me. It's definitely been a learning curve having so many more people watch my videos than they used to, um, but I'm so thankful for it and I'm so happy that we've gotten to this point together. Thank you if you've subscribed. I'm up to 36,000. That's also crazy. Like I've gotten over 25,000 watch hours in the last month and it took me over a year to get 4,000. And my lifetime views is 367,700. That's so crazy. Okay, so I've definitely had a lot of growth this month and I set some goals last month. So let's see if I met those. I definitely did. So I already checked them off. My goal was to hit 4,000 subscribers, to hit 15,000 watch hours and hit 175,000 views. I like tripled all of those. <sighs> it's so crazy. What I do is I will duplicate this. I will rename it to March goals, change my emoji and uncheck these. I had a huge growth surge last month and I am anticipating my channel not to grow as much as it did last month. I'm hoping it will and I'm optimistic, but I have to be realistic as well and know that I just happened to be caught up in a time where my videos were getting a lot of views and it was mostly because of my apartment series and now that I moved, that's probably gonna slow a little bit. So realistically, I'm gonna set my goal for 8,500 subscribers. And then I think I'm gonna take the watch hours off of my goals. That was mostly a goal for me when I was trying to get monetized, hitting the 4,000 watch hours. I kind of made smaller goals for myself to get those increments to get to the 4,000, but I feel like that's not really a goal for me anymore. I'm going to say I want to hit 475,000 views. We'll see if that can happen. So I'm gonna delete this checkbox and I'll check back for my April plan with me and let you know if I hit it. Um, affiliate info is literally just like info for my affiliate accounts, so we don't need to worry about that. 2022 goals does not fluctuate. This is just kind of like my stagnant goals for the entire year. I went over these in my last video because this was a new page last month, but in case you missed that, for self, I wanna work out at least three times per week, which I upped for this month to five times a week. Um, live more in the present, go outside every day, sign up for therapy, money, I wanna make $1,000 a month from social media, I wanna diversify my income sources, start affiliate marketing, I want to eat healthier, reach out to family I don't talk to that much, I wanna work on my Spanish, learn to sew, learn guitar. I only know a little bit of guitar, I own one, but I need to actually learn it. Um, invite friends to do things more often, I am really bad at reaching out. I get in my head, I say, oh, people probably don't wanna hang out with me, so I'm not gonna reach out. Out, but I need to get better at that because I need to remember they are my friends and they in fact do want to hang out with me. As far as my career, I want to take more dance classes, sign up for voice lessons, and YouTube wise, I want to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I did make one more tab since we last spoke and we last did a plan with me and it's for my apartment. Um, I have just a tab for things I still need that I, I just have made a growing list. I also have hair suggestions because in one video I asked everybody if they had any hair product recommendations. So don't worry, I did write down like different hair suggestions. But yeah, as far as things I still need, I just have a list of different things around my apartment every time I think of something that I might want or need. Obviously these aren't super necessary because I've lived a whole month here without them, but they're things that I definitely want. So every time I think of something, I'll just type it in, add it here. So that's my notion. So thank you for planning March with me. Once again, I think March is gonna be a great month. Honestly, the best part of this month is gonna be daylight savings. It was two weeks from yesterday that daylight savings is going to happen and then the sun is going to set so much later. I love the daylight. I am just so excited for the days to get longer, the weather to get warmer. I hope you enjoyed this notion tour. I hope that maybe it inspired you a little bit to plan your month. I know it really helps me every month to do this. I really love doing these monthly plan with me videos. I think it's a great opportunity to set intentions and figure out what I actually want to get done this month and I enjoy sharing my goals with you because I know I love watching people go through and plan their months and that kind of gives me inspiration a lot of the time of things that maybe I want to do this month or new ways that I want to try to plan things out. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.